This episode is presented by EA Game Changers. Welcome, mates. I am Bloodthirsty Lord, but you can call me Lordy, and this is why you should play Caustics in Apex Legends. And it's not because he's a locked character when you have to grind to unlock or pay to unlock that type of character. No, no, no. That's not it. It's because his abilities are kind of hard and kind of hard to use overall in Apex Legends compared to other characters that we have currently in the game like Wraith or Bangalore. But before we do get into this juicy video, make sure you smash that like button. We are aiming for 100 likes on this video. That'll be greatly appreciated and also smash that subscribe button to keep up to date with our content. So without further ado, Let's get straight into this. Caustic, aka Thick Gassy Boy. This character is a very interesting one compared to the rest of the roster. He seems very easy to understand, but at the same time very hard as well in some situations, giving him the chance to potentially be a very high skill ceiling type of character. So let's explain his kit. He has three abilities, first being his passive, Nox Vision. You gain threat vision on enemies moving through your gas. Second ability being your tactical ability on the Q key, or depending on the consoles, it can change there. Nox Gas Trap. Place up to six canisters that release deadly Nox Gas when shot or treated by enemies. And the last ability being his ultimate Nox Gas Grenade. Blanket a large area in Nox Gas. So the general idea is gas, gas, gas. Synergy in his kit, which is able to use to his advantage. But as we dive in deeper into his kit, you understand why he's such a strong character. Caustic's gas traps allow him to block off entries and exits, but also doors. To so some parts of the map, there will be doors when he's able to hold down buildings. And some of those doors, he's able to put a gas trap right in front of it, making it impossible to open unless the enemy does melee it, causing the door to break, but still the gas trap will be there, so he'll be affected by the gas trap as well. Costa can hold up a maximum of three gas traps, but also place six around the map. So you can potentially lock down six areas or close off six entries or exits. And this is when his passive Nox Vision does come into account because if the enemies are trying to push up towards him and get through those traps, the gas will be affecting them and the Nox Vision will pick them up, his threat vision, so you'll be able to know where they are exactly in which entry slash exit they're coming from and this naturally makes caustic a lockdown type of character or more defensive type of character compared to the rest of the roster so people would love to start camping with caustic because it'll work into their favor but if you're like myself you don't have to change your aggressive play style too much into becoming a camper caustic player so that's something to keep in mind and caustic's kit allows him to have huge amounts of setup potential with his area effect damage, which is a ticking effect through his gas that he can use on his gas trap and he's also his ultimate. So you can set up those devices around the map or close by, they do stack in damage. So if the gas traps are close by and the enemies in between them, he will take ticking damage from each gas trap three times how many gas traps are there. But also if you chuck his ultimate in there, Change. the enemy will have a hard time escaping overall because of the CC effect or crowd control ability that comes from the gas, which does apply a slowing mechanic on the enemy's movement, so they can't really move too much while they're in your gas, and you'll be able to move at normal speed by seems like super speed and just chase down that enemy and destroy them. So your main goal is to cover as much of the area where the enemies are in gas, so you're able to excel in your gameplay. You can also use Caustic's ultimate as a Bangalore smoke when you're trying to revive your teammates. So place your ultimate on your teammate or friendly target, go towards them and revive them in that mist because if enemies are trying to obviously get into it they get affected by the slow effect and damage that happens over ticking amounts so dot damage area effect it gets really good in your favor but also keep in mind that the transparency is pretty much as close as Bangalore smoke grenade but they can still see you in some direction so be careful about it and obviously the blanket area isn't as big as a Bangalore smoke grenade. And since majority of the time you'll be living in the gas when playing caustic, you want close quarter type of weapons within your kit. So using shotguns and SMGs will work into your favor a lot more than using a sniper or using a assault rifle. I think SMGs, a wingman pistol even, and a peacekeeper works out pretty darn well in my opinion. In majority of team compositions within Apex Legends, Caustic does fit in pretty darn well in my opinion, but you can use him as a tank or one of your main defensive type of characters, which can also apply lockdown of abilities towards enemies and his own team to make sure they don't die and play more of a defensive strat compared to playing full aggressive. But in some situations, you can be super aggressive when playing Caustic due to his ultimate and his abilities, how you can set them up quite easily but obviously there are timers and animations they have to get used to before being able to utilize a very super aggressive playstyle. In the early game to mid game, Caustic will shine quite a lot because instead of having a gun in his hand, he can also have that extra damage output and slow effects that come through his crush.
crowd control on his gas abilities when other people might have nothing in their hands or no weapons at all. So keep that in mind. And then his mid game potential is pretty high too. Late game, it always does depend on the end game circle. Depending where that circle is and where the position and terrain is, that needs to be taken into account in order to play at the utmost best caustic type of playstyle you can do. You have to pretty much fluctuate between a defensive and aggressive playstyle when playing caustic, especially in the end game stages. But to have the ability to reach end game on caustic, you need to know what his counters are. He has a couple of counters. One of them is bursting out enemy caustic player. Because if the enemy caustic player does go through your gas ability, it won't affect him in any way since caustic is immune to gas. But also, he can use his threat vision or his noxic vision against your teammates if they run through your own gas. So there's some weird mechanics that do exist at the moment with Caustic overall, so keep that in mind when versing a Caustic player. Also, keep in mind when your own gas traps do activate, it will affect your teammates as well in the crowd control aspect, slowing down their movement speed overall, but not applying any type of damage towards their health. Next counter is Lifeline. So if Lifeline is present in your gas and you're not able to kill her because you're low on health, she can legit use her own healing drone to outheal your damage on your gas. So if you do see your enemy Lifeline play in your gas, make sure you destroy her before moving on to other targets. If an enemy Wraith player does go through your gas and activate her ability when she enters a visibility, she'll be maneuvering and dodging the gas damage output and also CC effect, so keep that in mind. Also, a big open field is a massive no for Costi. So make sure you're never in those states because it doesn't work to your advantage at all, only in some applications. Because the majority of the time, you're gonna end up being in that open field, and gain shot, gain sniped by any targets, and you can't do anything about it, and you can't react or escape in quick enough time compared to other characters like Wraith or Bangalore when they just press one button and they're able to escape with ease. Advanced tips while using Caustic. You can also vertically stack your gas traps providing as means of cover when you're in an open field. But obviously once the enemy has shot your cover system, the gas itself will activate and that duration will complete over its time and then deactivate and then obviously you have no cover from the enemy shots. The next tip is to run around the map Place your gas traps and then pick them up before entering your next fight. So you don't have to wait for the recharge timer on the gas trap because it does take around maybe, I think, 13 seconds to 18 seconds to regenerate one gas trap. So if you put three down and then nothing's actually happened in that zone, pick them up and then keep on moving along so you make sure you're always ready for that next engagement. And to pick up your gas trap, all you need to do is press E or whatever the selected key or control is on the PS4 and Xbox One. So use your friendly teammates' abilities to your advantage. So if you have a Bangalore on your team and also a Gibraltar on your team and they activate their abilities, it's going to apply a huge amount of CC or slow effects towards the enemy targets that have been caught in that zone. So it gives you enough time to place a gas trap next to them and also use your gas abilities overall so you're able to get those benefits real quick and just chain that crowd control. You gain that ability when using this character. Or if you want to play with a more aggressive independent playstyle, make sure you're always picking up those arc stars because arc stars will play a slow effect on the targets but give you enough time to set your gas traps and also chuck in your gas bomb at that area, so you are able to go bloody insane and destroy them with ease. So back to the title of this video, why you should play Caustic. Caustic is overall an extremely fun character to play with a challenge and a hard twist towards him compared to the rest of the roster. So once you enter those engagements and fights, it's gonna be a completely different playing style while also being aggressive and defensive at the same time, depending on what state of the game you're in. Early game, mid game, he shines quite a lot. End game, it always depends on the ending circle and the position it's in. Don't make it your goal to stack the damage output of your gas abilities. Instead, use those gas traps to block off entries, hold off corners, and pretty much cover as much of the map as you can in gas when you're in a engagement because that's when you start to reap the rewards as you utilize your Nox vision and your threat vision to your advantage and claim those champion wins. But mates, as always, tell me your pins and thoughts in the comment section down below. Would you want to see more videos like this when we do dive in deeper into a character's kit, abilities and player style and describe the best way to play the character and why you should pick this character in Apex Legends? Because if you want to see another video like this, tell me the character you want to see next in the comment section down below. That'd be great to know. So if you mates did enjoy this video make sure you smash that like button we're aiming for 100 likes on this video that'd be greatly appreciated if you do achieve that goal and also if you make sure you want to see more gaming content on my channel more apex legends on the channel all you have to do is make sure you hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with our content and i'll see you mates on the apex legends battlefield see you later and now we patiently wait 
for every player to start maining the thick gassy boy. <laughs>